Hi everyone, I'm Todd Embley and welcome to another edition of The Negotiation After Hours. This is a new video series where we speak to WPIC Marketing Technologies co-founder and CEO, Jacob Cook, on the top consumer tech and business stories from China and APAC. Jacob, welcome to the show. Where are you joining us from today? I'm dialing in from our Vancouver office today, uh, downtown Vancouver. I'll be here All for right. the next couple of weeks. So, Welcome back to Canada. Now, there's a few big stories that we're going to get your take on this week. First, on Friday, China imposed huge fines on Ant Group and Tencent, and Alibaba and Tencent's shares have soared since. Tell us what happened and the significance for China's tech sector. Yeah, well, huge is relative, right? I think it was a billion dollars for the Ant Group and 400 million for uh, Tencent. Um, you know, neither one of those that would even be equal to December's profits. So um, they're doing well. Um, one of the things I think that why the market's reacting that because there has been ongoing regulatory issues with, with both of these companies and the finance departments. Um, and from what the government released with these fines is that they feel that now both companies are compliant and they use very, very similar words to those. And that's why it's really allowed the stock Alibaba loan is up 10% in the last couple of days since the news. Um, and that's really kind of the gist of it. So I think that we can expect that these platforms are now going to be regulated the way that they are right now and can continue to innovate and grow like they have been. All right. Uh, another interesting bit of news on the platform economy space. Tuesday, Apple launched a store on WeChat. What's your take on that? <laughs> You know, Apple is always, it's been a huge winner in China and it's always been an adopter of new technologies. Like even for them, they're globally so built upon the apple.com website, but they've been adopting platform sales in China, you know, the largest iPhone market now in the world. Um, and they're selling them at what it, where Chinese people are buying them. So the flagship stores are obviously hugely important part. You can see them lined up, you know, anytime there's a new release, but also um, you know, they have a Tmall store, they have a PDD store, they have now a WeChat store, which is stuff they just don't do um, in other markets. So it really shows they've got a good, strong local presence, incredibly committed to the market, um, you know, and they're seeing very strong growth in Q1 in the numbers for iPhone sales being up too, and they're dominating even the local built rivals. So yeah, they're, they're getting rewarded for paying attention to the market and operating in a way that consumers expect. Okay, finally, what do you make of U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's recent trip to Beijing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's coming on the back of Secretary Blinken's visit, too, as well. Um, you know, she had great meetings. She was treated very cordially when she came here. Great welcome. Um, no major policy announcements, but I think just in general, the more that they talk, the more high-level meetings that we see, the better the business and economic relationship is really going to be, not just between, you know, China and the U.S., but really between China and you know, the G8 and the world in general. All right. Well, thanks very much, Jacob. And uh, to everybody listening, don't worry. We come back. We hit hard. We go fast. You get your four minutes of uh, up-to-the-date news of uh, China and Asia and everything going on over there. Jacob, thanks for bringing it today. And uh, we'll see you all next time. You're welcome. Bye-bye.